the very crucial part is the funding gap that needs to be met. I think um, what's important is for governments at this time to support, at least urge the banks to support the rice value chain because there are some cap investments that the farmers cannot make. For example, irrigation and land preparation, these are very expensive um, parts of the value ch um, processes and it's important that the government comes in to support them. Also machinery is very important in terms of um, harvesting and processing. Harvesting especially with combine harvesters or even with reapers, the smaller ones that the farmers who cannot get combine on their farms, that those ones that they can use. So government needs to support with machinery and also with the land preparation. I think this is one investment that they need to do because you know the, the, the ones that do not even produce at all, I mean with at the lowest capacity are doubling profit margins. So if you put in 2,000 um, CDs, you get over 4,000 CDs. So that is an investment that the banks need to get into because once everything is put in place, it will not go wrong. And the, what needs to happen is that the value chain has to be strengthened. So for example, we know that when a farmer produces, this person is off-taking, this person is milling and selling. Once that chain is properly done, it's kind of a guarantee that if the bank puts in money, they'll get it back. 